Report our beginning balance uh, on June 1st, $1,174.42. We had $23.22 income, $87.08 in expenses. Our ending balance, $1,110.56. It is that time of the year where we make our memorial donation to the foundation in memory of our residents and former residents who passed away. We were doing $100. We are now budgeting to do $50. So I would move that we make a $50 donation to the OMC Foundation in memory of our residents who have passed away. Any second to that, please? I'll second that. Thank you. Yes, you. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Okay, we sent $50. I was going to read the names also. And this is from January 1st on, on forward. January 9th, Jack Elmer Ross. January 18th, James Clark. January 25th, Ruth Ann Ackerman. February 28th, Marsha Frank. March 1st, John C. Jack Miller. March 14th, Basil Theodorus. April 11th, Emerson Garber. April 22nd, Marilyn Hildebrand. Uh, April, and I didn't get the specific date, uh, Joni Palmer. <clears throat> May 21st, Barbara Mossberger. May 21st, Betty Furman. And then March 30th, Junior Nichols. So I have the obituaries to send over to the foundation so they can send out acknowledgement donation letters. I have one for us to keep with our church. And that's what I got for that. 
I have a question. How do we end up with such a strange amount for a donation or income? Oh. $23.22 that came out of the kitty jar at Walter Frank. <laughs> we were down there, we were down there. We were in a coffee conversation last month. I looked over, I thought, huh, there's some money in there. So after everybody was gone, I dumped it out, put the change fund back in, and that's the odd amount that was in there. So somebody had been buying water, soda, six pack of beer, I don't know. <laughs> Somewhere, that's what was in there. Thank you. All right, I guess we're ready for Peggy and the welcome committee. <coughs> Do you want the microphone? No, I can talk loud. Can everybody hear me? Yeah. What? <laughs> okay, I saw um, Raymond Lavins has moved in and he's with us today. And also CJ, Sonny, and Ann Moore, they're with us today and they have moved in. I saw them come in there. They've been here. I know, but we had to see, so I wanted to be sure that people knew. Okay, then we have uh, Dave and Carolyn Baker and they moved in 33B Consistory. We have Leonard and Linda Cadle. They have moved into 24C Valley Drive. Dave and Marcia Freeze have moved into 26D Council. And then we have George and Martha Hartman who will be moving into 25C Council. And that'll be later this month. Patricia Smith will be moving into 2D Apprentice and that will be later this month. And Danny Bonner will be moving into 9C Masters. And I think that will be later in the month. Yeah. Thank you. I think we're going to have to have a welcome to a neighbor event pretty soon. Yeah, that's a lot. For the benefit of the new folks that are here today, we have the signing sheet over here. If you are just here by yourself, one X is sufficient. But if you and your spouse are here, put two X's on that line. Also, please check the phone number. I am not above making an occasional rare <laughs> error and transposing the numbers when I put them on. But we want to make sure we get it right. So just mark through, make the correction, and then we'll pick it up and get it done. But anyway, that's all. Thanks. Yeah, make sure you, you got to talk into it. Okay, it's no, our, into it. Uh, is our sunshine lady here? Uh, no. I don't think so. Okay, no report from her then. Well, then we're ready for you again, Phil. Men's <laughs> lunch. Men's lunch went to Mongolian barbecue this past month. I couldn't go. Uh, I have no idea where they're going next month. Bill, where are they going? Who? Your Dutchman? Yeah. Alrighty. Hopefully, if I got a traveling machine, I'll be going with him. Alrighty. Okay, Brenda, do you have a report? <laughs> Brenda? I don't have anything to report. Board's what quiet, nothing going on. Stan? Board meeting. Board meeting tomorrow for us. Yeah, we do have a board meeting Thursday. Uh, but Tony did send out his uh, letter for the board meeting, and I'm very happy to see on his report the census is up. We have a bit of a waiting list, I think, in almost all areas, and they're really promoting new new tenants because, and this is the best part, he said in his letter that it's gotten easier to get staff uh, nursing staff and that is that's wonderful news I think there's still uh, so hard to get help in uh, housekeeping and such but overall uh, everything was was very good uh, I think probably we'll find out more Thursday about the entry gate but I think it's in the works and I think it will go up and down one of these days uh, but other than that I don't think we 
And have any thoughts? Stan? It's a Wednesday or Thursday? Board meeting it's Wednesday. tomorrow. It's tomorrow. It's tomorrow. The board meeting's tomorrow. Yeah, okay. That's you right. Thursday. It's Thursday. They moved it to yeah. tomorrow, some other conflict. Well, we're ready for the main event, Dave. It's tomorrow. It's tomorrow. Yeah, yeah Tony moved it from Thursday, right? Yeah, it's Tony. I thought Tony was a good day here. When? Tomorrow? Oh, I'm going to quit You won't be here Friday. Yeah. So. Okay. He will not be here Friday. Huh? He will not be here Friday. No, so you're stuck with me at Coffee Connection. So if you don't show, you're not hurting my feelings. <laughs> so in other words, uh, not now. one bit, because I've got I got chicken wings to fry. <laughs> so if we had questions for Tony for Friday, right. how do we get those to him? Um, email, I guess. <laughs> or get, give them to me, and I'll get with Tony. And I'll get back to you. Okay. Are they? Does it have to do with the guard <laughs> shack or? No, it no. has to do with. Photos. Photos. For K4. Okay. So this, yeah, he's been doing a great job of trying to collect photos, but it just seems since we all have to get our photos done for our cards, that they already have uh, all our photos. So if maybe they need a permission for us to release those to K4, but it seems like that would be a natural yeah, transition. It's a, it's a good thought. I never thought of it, but uh, I'd be all for yeah, we can look. We can uh, look into that. I asked for once and got no answer. Got no answer. Okay. Well, we look better now. Uh, I think the resident photos that they take when you move in are in a restricted database. Yeah, they're probably in the, they're yeah. probably in the they're, PCC. Using, using but, this camera and get really good pictures to put up. I mean, no, he's done a great job. But I'm yeah. what I'm asking is. To take care of that, what you just said about the secure database, could people sign a simple waiver when they come in that says that those, why can't they sign? Probably won't do it. That's one more thing for them to sign, probably. Well. You guys signed a lot when you moved in, I do believe. Well, it just, to me, I mean, I love photo directories, and I think new people generally love them, and it just seems like it would be it. Bill, how hard is it to put someone's photo on K4? Very easy. It's very easy. Very easy. It's very, I've done yeah, it. She's done it. I've done yeah. it. Okay, then. It's but getting the photos. It's getting, going to every yeah. person's house to get the photos. Yeah. 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 Maybe make a day. We could do a photo day or something. Yeah. Come yeah. get your photo. It'd photo be a good day. Day yeah. before that. Day before that. Day before that. I cropped two pictures out for Helen and I and sent them to Bill and he had them on within two hours. Oh, I know. That's not. Yeah. That's okay. not. It takes. Five minutes. That's right. not the yeah. issue. It's right. getting all. It wasn't any time at all. They were on. I know. Okay. <laughs> so then a, the other question I had for him. Well, we could we could do like a, like a Scottish Rite day. Just need the picture and the name. Uh, yeah. Very easy. Okay. We we crop it down to headshot. And that's it. <laughs> all right. So that was one question I had for him, and <laughs> you guys can sort <laughs> that out. Okay. <laughs> And then the second question is, when you put in a work order, you really hear. Okay. Listen. Could you stand up? Sure. In fact, I probably don't have to. You can hear me now, can't you? Okay. So the, so the second question has to do with work orders. Okay. Heather's good about it. Everybody's good about it. But the situation is that most of my, quote, work orders, like I have one right now that I'm thinking of, don't require a timely issuance. In other words, it could be done in a month. And, and I tell her that. Mm -hmm. The problem is, is that two weeks later, I don't know if it's gotten lost in the communication. Mm -hmm. So then I feel like I keep having to bug her. Right. And I don't want to bug her. Right. So it seems like, like I was telling Bill, when I'm in schools and I send in a tech ticket for a computer, I get a notice a week later saying it's still in process. Mm -hmm. It seems like there ought to be an automatic way so that Heather's not having to be bothered, but that we would know that we're still in process. Well, we, we do have a system in place where we do submit work orders that I can submit as well, and it'll and, and I get an email that kicks back 
that says in progress or well, you do, but waiting the person, for approval, that kind of stuff. You so. do, but the person who yeah, asked for yeah, it has I no know. idea. I know. And there, it, it just seems like with K-4, there ought to be oh, something yeah. that, you and message, know. Message you back to K-4. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just don't think K-4 is all that capable of doing all that kind of stuff that everybody's wanting it to do. Okay. Um, anyway, I just another. Okay. It's an app on your I'm, phone. Well, I know, but I mean, I feel like it's a nuisance, you know, because it's not right. So we talked about it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why he asked. Uh, for those of you who don't know what K, everybody knows what K4 is in here, right? Pretty much everybody. It's our community app. It goes on your phone if you got a smartphone. It won't go on those flip phones if you got one of those old flip phones. We can't put it on there. It it's got to be a smartphone. Yeah. And it'll go on an iPad as oh, well. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, it just gives you updates on everything that's going on on campus. It's kind of like the 1851 channel. You can you can get all your information on that too. Well, what does the K stand for? I don't know. That's the community. It, I, <laughs> that's the company that named it. Okay. They called it K4 Community Plus. They don't know what the K stands for. Crazy. <laughs> Well, you're spelling it wrong, but it, I guess it could stand for crazy. But, but, uh, okay. Huh? Chaos. Yeah, sure. Okay. All right. And so here's my last question that may affect everybody. So I just wondered if, so I brought money today to pay for my uh, community thing. Do they have the, can I give you guys money today? For, you know, Absolutely. Like, I'll take money any day of the week. Do you something? have change is the question. Do you have change? <laughs> yeah, your hand to mine. No. And then the last question was, is anybody here selling the tickets for the chicken? I'm getting to that. Okay. You're, you're ahead of me. Okay. So. All right. Let's move on now. Okay. Um, I did hire a new driver. His name's Jordan Adams. Yay. Uh, he's, I don't know if you've seen him out and about with uh, Gary or Tim or Ron. Uh, he did start this past, uh, actually he started last Wednesday, the day after the 4th. So he's got about a week under his belt right now. So say hi to Jordan when you see him, uh, you'll see him out and about. Um, things we got coming up, let's see, the next thing is... Points and names. Well, no, there's a group lunch tomorrow. They're going to the Cheesecake Factory. So that's tomorrow. Uh, pick up here at Community Center. I believe there's a sign-up sheet out there. Then we got our wing fling wing ding party. It's summer fling wing ding party is what the ladies called it. So um, that's Friday, this Friday from 4 to 6 in the clubhouse. We're going to deep fry some chicken wings, going to have some special sauces that you can dip them in or pour the sauces on, uh, celery sticks, uh, carrots, uh, cookies, soft drinks. I believe we're going to get watermelon too, so that'll be added. Uh, we're going to try a little karaoke too, so if anybody's not too too shy and wants to get up there and test their vocals, <laughs> by all means, come on up. So we're going to try that. Um, uh, tickets are $5 in advance. I do have tickets, okay? Reason we put five in advance, ten at the door, because I need a wing count. I got to, I got to, because I bought fresh wings. So, all right, so we, we, we need a wing count. Um, next, uh, Beaver Creek Mall trip. That's Wednesday, the Summer Arts Festival in downtown Springfield. They got several bands playing, but uh, they went ahead and uh, I believe John Willie's in charge of this, decided to do Phil Dirt and the Dozers. They do a lot of the old classic rock songs. They're pretty good. I don't think Phil Dirt's still with them, but, uh, but the band still, 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 still do, they, they still do a pretty good job. Uh, that's Friday, July 21st. Is there a sign-up sheet for that out there? Has anybody seen it? No. no. He okay. said last week he was going to put it up last week. Okay. I need to get on John on that one. I asked him about chairs, too, because didn't they used to set up chairs? I think he used to put yeah. chairs out, too. He said he'd have to find them. <laughs> that's weird. They're, they're in the bus garage, I do believe. Were they the, the fold-out things, so. the, the cloth ones? Yeah, I think they're all early. Yeah, they're they're over there, I believe. Some were broken, but I think I threw away the ones that were broken. Where does John take direction from? Stacy. Okay. He, he works under life in Richmond. Okay. 
Uh, then we have our staff car wash again. It's our fourth annual. We're going to do that. Boy, that's next. That's next Wednesday. So next Wednesday, that includes golf carts. So if you want to bring your golf cart out, our, our leadership team's going to be washing golf carts and cars. Okay, and uh, don't stiff us. It is for a little donation. We don't have a price on it, but if you want to donate, it goes to our staff uh, relations committee. So, okay. The final thing I got to bring up, fireworks got postponed. And we're going to do it, we're looking at September 1st, Labor Day weekend. What, what's your guys' opinion? Anybody, anybody kind of in favor of it? I am, that's my birthday. That's your birthday? <laughs> yeah. I mean, hopefully with it being the 1st of September, maybe the weather will be a little cooler, won't be as, won't be as hot. Is that Labor Day weekend? It's Labor Day weekend. Yeah. But that'll be a good way to get Friday, off. Saturday. It'll be a Friday night. Is what, uh, yeah, we're at the beginning stage of planning this, so we, we have to get with the fireworks people. I can't imagine them being too busy on September 1st. Because not too many, because the fireworks are over. So, but that's what we're shooting for. And hopefully we'll keep the same same type stuff plan that we had with, with the food trucks and uh, the live music and stuff. Because I got that booze of wagon of cheer that I, I'm planning on selling a lot of tickets that night. <laughs> okay, so. All right. Um, other than that, that's all I have. Anybody got any questions for me? Yeah, Jim. Yeah, I've got a question for you concerning this so called security gates. Okay. <laughs> down in the entrance. There are no changes in it, so, but you can go ahead. Uh, all right. Um, what is the default operation of the gates should you lose power like we've been doing there recently? Do they, do well, the gates you, guys, you guys lose power down in the villas, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, the rest of the campus is on a backup generator. Oh. Okay. So no. if, if they lose power. Yeah, so Scottish Rite, Cunningham, all them, they don't lose power. No. Well, we'll look Only you guys, because you're si your single units. So, so no. that will be connected to them. That right? should be connected to that. Yes. Okay. So, so we should well, that, we, that sh we should not have an issue with the power going out. Yeah. Well, that, and if it does, uh, security will go down there, dismantle, and put the gates on. Yeah. Well, okay. do they automatically <laughs> lock down, or do they automatically open up? No, they, they automatically open up. You mean yeah. if if the power goes down? Yeah. No, we'll probably have to go manually put them up. We just drive right through. <laughs> we could. Well, don't bust the gate. I'm warm. <laughs> so okay. it's all right. But uh, you know, it's going to be a learning experience for all of us when the first time that happens. Oh. All right. I have an observation. What's that? Yeah. Got my key card. Got yeah, mine too. Card here for using to operate the gates. The problem is. The card also opens up the doors to the buildings. Uh, only if you're using them both at the same time. I don't no, believe no. that will open that. No, the, this this car key will open the front okay. door. Well, I'll check that. But uh, no, it does. Okay. Yep. So conversely, then our ID card will open up the gates also. I don't. I don't think it's programmed that way. But I'll check. Well, I'll have them check it out. If it's programmed for these to operate the door, these will also operate the gates. Well, I am kind of. It, I know it's a total different program, though. Yeah. So I, I can't imagine okay. that working. You try. You we'll, try, you we'll, try. We'll check it out. Try to check it out. Okay. It, it does. I also have a question about our crossing the entrance ramp down here at the end. Friday, Friday afternoon, I almost got T-boned mm -hmm. by a car. That's dangerous. That's the third time it's happened to me since I've been here. What do you mean the entrance ramp? Where? Well, when you're leaving, when you leave the entrance ramp to 68 cell. Okay. You mean at the light there? Huh? At the traffic light? No. no. At our, our entrance to the park. Our entrance. Are you coming in or out? Going out. You're going out. And uh, I checked 
three ways, four ways, really. I always check to make sure <laughs> you shouldn't have to look. You shouldn't have to yeah. look yeah. Yeah. right unless you're That's coming down a wrong way. <laughs> so you, you should also, only have to be looking left. I also check the left turn lane, make sure nobody's in there turning. I check upper valley to make sure nobody's coming across. Mm -hmm. And I also check the right turn lane to make sure that nobody's in the lane. Well, you can see you got drunk. That whole intersection is bad. I don't know if you've noticed, but it seems like there's at least a weekly accident in the intersection. Right. And that does bleed over to us, but we obviously can't control the lights, the traffic, that sort of thing. Well, I guess you might have to hop on that accelerator quicker <laughs> to get through that intersection if, if you're having trouble that way. Well, we may not be able to control the damn traffic, but we sure as hell can get the police out there to do some speed checks on that uh, step on Route 14 coming down that hill. Well, you know, that's come off that hill about 70 miles an hour. I know, they even put the flashing light down there to slow down to 50. No, it doesn't work. I think, anyway. the, I think the major problem is the general public living out in the Springfield area, and especially people that are not from this neighborhood, think that that road is only an entrance ramp to 68 right. South. Right. right. And that's not true. Mm -hmm. Those of us that live here and those of us that are familiar with it know, it's probably only 20% of the public know that that's a two-way road right there. Mm -hmm. Everybody else has no clue that that's a two-day group. And what you said is absolutely correct. It's a very dangerous intersection. It's just the way it is. It's the way it is. Be careful. I, he used up your question. No, he did not. Because you guys are a couple. Because he was with me when a resident attempted to pass us at 6.10 p.m. on the left lane coming through the gate, and he ran himself all the way up to the exit stop sign and I wasn't giving in as we're going through our side of the gate and he finally stopped and we kept going now I reported it security and they saw it on camera will they talk to him I don't know I'm and sure we, they did we might have more of that but how did that person know I wasn't turning left at that next so, so when you went out the gate you went out we were coming in we were coming in we were coming in okay. and he and his wife passed us on the left quick well attempted to mm -hmm. very quickly and finally slammed on his brakes and he didn't know i wasn't turning left no, no. and it's on, they got it on camera i called right away and it was on camera yeah, i'm sure they got it. i'm sure they had to talk with him this per these people i guess he, Security said you're going to have a lot of that. Okay, we shouldn't have to have a lot of that. I don't know who, what can be done about it, but we're trying to go through this gate. Well, they, nobody. For one thing, nobody on should be in a nobody should be in a hurry when they get on it's, this campus. Wow, well, thank you. Because of the speed limits, they, they, should, they should be driving very fast. Because thank you. Of the speed so that may happen again. I, she reminded me of something like that. I don't know if this is possible, but I do. I'm kind of wondering if they could put a sign on four that says just something like caution, um, turning right, the Masonic home is directly to your right and there's other traffic. I don't know, but it's, it's just, you know, like caution where you have a school zone caution or something. Or, that just, or something yeah. that says Masonic home entrance. Or yeah, something. yeah. Please be careful. You know, just something. And that might at least, <laughs> actually that would help people like when I was in the Orchestra, nowhere in the Masonic entrance. Masonic <laughs> community. Yes. Okay. David, I'll, I'll bring this traffic issue up at the board meeting tomorrow okay. and uh, Just, see what can be done. I don't know what I can do, but maybe it's, you know, maybe. Okay. That sounds good. Well, I, I feel like this ended up turning into coffee connection. <laughs> well, <laughs> maybe you don't need Are you one. ready? You now can now I can just cancel Friday. Anyway. I can I cancel could. Friday. Now. I won't be there because you told me not to. Uh, ladies, lunch then the next time is Cold Water Cafe in Tip City. Cold Water Cafe in Tip City is the next ladies' lunch. Yay for Tip City. Yay <laughs> for Tip City. <laughs> I take it you're hey, Tip City. I got one, and this is a security thing. Okay. Um, 
You know, we play pickleball. Right? That back door? Yeah. It's still not working? I'll get with Crystal on it. I thought they were they were checking into that because they know they're aware of it. Okay. So the keypad's not working, and you can just walk in. You, well, if you press the doorbell button, you can just walk in. You don't need your bag. Okay. <laughs> when is the ladies' lunch, Jay? When is the ladies' lunch? Tomorrow. Fourth Wednesday. Fourth Wednesday. That's Thank you. That's the that's the ladies only. Ladies only. I would like to thank security who knocked on our door at 11 o'clock one night because somebody left the garage door open and the light on, and he came to check on us to make sure we had not fallen or whatever. Well, who left the light on in the garage door? Did you not see where I was pointing? Okay. I did not see. <laughs> and I was very, we were very appreciative of that. Good. Very. Good to hear. Yes. We mentioned the... Yes. Uh, potholes before but the one coming up the hill oh, is deep and somebody could drop a wheel in it and uh, coming up the main drive yeah but it's, it's pretty far to the right very deep on the right side very far to the right i'll check it out so who's, maybe you should get a consensus session if this is the group you have on friday you could find out whether you actually need a meeting <laughs> Tony wants me to have it. So, so hopefully he's he's got some notes mm. for me that he wants to pass on. All right, Dave, your comment about getting that coffee connection. This is what our meeting is supposed to be. Right. So don't complain. I'm not good. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I have a suggestion. Yes. A couple of years, a couple of years ago. Into the microphone, like you're eating an ice cream cone. <laughs> Eat it and then talk. Is this better? Yes. 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 Okay. A couple of years ago, the events committee, I think it was somebody sponsored an event at the golf course, and, it, and then we had lunch afterwards. Yes. Oh, Did that Wendy Knoll? Yes. Was that Wendy Knoll? Yeah. I think it'd be fun to do that again. I tried I to do it again. Oh. They don't have. I did it. I did it back in May. Yeah, but I don't think you're having it's meals the, there now. It's the staff. The staff. They, they don't have they don't have a diner. Yeah, I mean it's pretty much uh, hit and miss. Hit and miss. I mean I'm I'm in a golf league there on Thursday nights, and they do staff it for that for the leagues. But uh, during the day, they just don't have the staff. Oh, it's a golf course. Mm -hmm. At least right now they don't. They didn't earlier in the year when I was trying to set that up again. And what about a report on the? Zip lining. It was terrifying. <laughs> hey Bruce, how was zip lining? Absolutely wonderful. It was wonderful. We do Except have photos. Rain. We have photos. We got two yes. videos. Yes. Um, marketing has them all. I don't know how they're going to put them out. Um, we'll, we're still working on that. But uh, it was. Uh, one casualty. We had one casualty. We had a. Uh, we we did it in the rain. Half, half of the time it rained on us. So we did rain or shine. We did have a delay because of the, the rumbles in the sky. But uh, we were we were pretty high up there. We went from mountain to mountain, it seemed like, on a couple of those zips. We were, on that, we were on that line for a good minute. Bruce was sore for four days and said, I made a wise decision to not go. Yeah, because we had to, uh, we had to tuck and yep. hold on. And so you got to cross that thing all the way. Yeah. It, it wasn't the easiest. Who was the guy that line? had the hand line out and rescue somebody? Yeah, there they had these young young kids that there that had to go out. Bruce had to be rescued yeah. a couple yeah. times. That was so. my cousin's grandson who did that. Right. Well, thank you. Yeah. Hand over hand. But overall, it was a it was a pretty good experience. <laughs> I think it's false advertising though. From that and they show on TV. Yeah. I mean, they make it sound like everybody here goes to the line. Right. right. Now that zip lining course was in what's the original chimneys. And that, that course was like a kiddie course compared to what we just went on. We have a free call. Okay, then what about, what about the airplane back today? The biplane. Um, when is the biplane? Who's going on? The, anybody here going on the biplane? You are. When is that? July what? I've got 25th, but I don't have a time. July 25th. What, 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 what? It, it starts early in the morning. You're going to. The dream flight? Dream yeah. flight. Fourth Tuesday. 
whatever that day is of this month, of this month, right. in Urbana, at 8 a.m., 8 a.m., something like that. I have to look. I've got my confirmation. <clears throat> okay, and that's what. That was a that was a fun thing to watch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, the fun thing to watch is them packing this into that plank. <laughs> that's worth coming. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they must have a lift. To, you know, I hope a, a lift and a compressor. They have mentioned also, not necessarily soliciting, but any cheerleaders are welcome. That's what we were told. And there's food available. You can people. buy it in the shop. Yeah, there's a little, there's a little there's diner a little, there. A cafe they got good pies, too. Yeah, they have that. And they, they said cheerleaders. Yeah. So why couldn't we have a little announcement about that? Why is everything such a secret? I don't think it's a secret. But is it on K4? How many that's people knew about it? It's not on K4. Yeah. She well, that's, not that's, K4. That's, that's, uh, that's our, that's our How corporate. How many people don't watch K4? That's our corporate marketing team that puts that on. Yeah. I, I, I don't really have a lot to do with it. No, so. Sheila just sent an e a text to me is all, or an email for us to be cheerleaders. Yeah. And they, they would like cheerleaders. They ought to make that more known. I'll send her an email today. Thank you. Maybe it's we easy take to a put bus on there. K4. Uh, yeah. She can. It's easy to put it on K4. Okay. Yeah. But not everybody. She's not going to. Totally off no. point, but do you ever do a, like a CPR class or a refresher CPR class here? Not that I know of. I mean, I mean I, I've had to CPR. for being in staff. Right, so, but, but uh, for residents, no. I don't think it's ever been. Well, you need new oh, scooters. Um, that'd be something for uh, Ohio Jim. Living. Let me discuss that with Ohio Living Home Health <laughs> because we do we do have a scooter class coming up in training. So, okay. and we do the the uh, um, space line mobility. We do that. We can cross those too. So, it would be a good idea to make everybody take that scooter course. Thank you. Thank you. We had another crash on Friday. Knocked all the wine bottles off the. Happy hour table. Really? Yeah, he had, yeah, the woman, well, ran out of wine. I missed that whole thing. Oh, it was a mess. Right. Now I know why they ran out of wine. He had to stop and take some wine at all. I wonder who it was. She couldn't let go of her buzzer. Not me. It was scary. <laughs> uh, Dave, on the thing about, you know, uh, the folks making the right hand turn and this and that. The three points of contact Springfield Police. Okay. Yeah. Probably. Is there any way to get somebody with a lot of juice in this organization to call these police and get this get problem Tony. resolved? I, I, I'll, I'll discuss all these with Tony. People have told me, well, you can call. Well, I don't have any juice. But you need somebody that's higher up in the authority Stand. chain here. Because <laughs> um, I said, we will tomorrow. bring it up at the board meeting tomorrow. So yeah, thank we'll you. have everybody there to talk about it. Yeah, Very good. Say, we we might, get some, might get something done. Then. We never get any feedback about the board meeting. There's nothing to feedback. Well, I mean, it sounds to me like there is. <laughs> You tell, you tell us to give your complaints, etc. But it's like throwing it down a hole. We never hear anything. We tell them what you tell us. You tell them what? We tell them what you asked us to say, like the driveway, the traffic. The, we bring it up. Is there any way? You're in the meeting, are you? Is there any way to have a board meeting? Right, that's, well, that's tomorrow morning. No, this is the Okay, we all have already covered new business about the donation. Anything else? Now's your chance. Special announcement. Got any idea for uh New neighbor party, maybe September. We'll have to work around the football schedule. Yeah, that I mean, you think maybe September, October? Yeah. We let it go too long last time. Yeah. It's all the slide. What is our occupancy rate? 
Um, it's our right census. Yeah, you got that there, Phil? Yeah. I've got this here. Now, this is folks who have moved in. The ones that Peggy has that are moving in are not here. <laughs> My latest count is 135 residents in the villas. In the villas. What's in Scottish, right? Oh. Um, What's the capacity of Scottish, right? There is 64 units there. And they're all full, aren't they? They are all full. With the waiting list. <laughs> With the waiting list. <coughs> okay, anything else? If we're ready for the, are you going to do the, oh, Stan's turn to do the Benedict. <laughs> Please join me in a prayer. Great architect of the universe, we thank you for the many blessings you've bestowed. Uh, such a nice place to live, three meals a day, health care, you name it, we, we try and provide it all. We ask that you continue to guide the officers and staff and also the officers of all the committees that do so much work to, to kind of behind the scenes keep things going. We also ask that you be with those that are having issues with health or death in the family. We ask also that you be watchful of first responders that uh, give us such a safe place to live. We ask that you watch over our military wherever they may be. And at last, thank you for all the good things you've given. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. So what would it be?